Hello everybody and welcome to your last and final XNA tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be learning about publishing our, our games or distributing them to our friends or families or anybody you want to distribute it to. Um, and a Visual Studio has this built in exp uh, specifically for Visual C, uh, C Sharp and uh, XNA. So you'll see how to build your applications and, and publish them and send them to off to your friends. Now, uh, if you're kind of confused, don't worry about uh, the code uh, right here. Uh, this code is for my my game that I'm making in the game development. Uh, and if you haven't seen my progress, then just watch my game development videos. I'm up to part seven. Uh, part eight is gonna be. Uh, I I was hoping that it'd come shortly, but I've gotten some new ideas, so uh, I have to work around it. But yeah, so here's here's the here's the code I'm gonna be using to publish, and this is how we're gonna publish our our game. So what you want to do is go to project and go to properties. Now in your project properties, this is what has everything to do with your project. So you can set your thumbnail, you can go to application, you can set the assembly name, namespaces name, or whatever, anything you want, the icon, uh, how it builds, etc, etc. But what we're really concerned with is the publish. So the default folder that it sends it to uh no it says right here website ftp server or file path so what we're going to do is just put publish slash and therefore in our main project folder it's going to create a publish folder that's going to put in all the setup files we need to distribute to everybody okay so you can say that if the application is only available online or if it's available offline as well i would select this one and therefore people can um it will show up on the people start menu etc etc so there's different options you can choose like the publisher name um the language you want to do, um show up as uh a lot of different things that you can and change you add a desktop shortcut etc etc um for updates you can select how uh the updates work um for prerequisites that uh, this is the stuff that they need in order to uh in order to run your game now they already have the pre the mandatory prerequisites selected but if you have any other things that you use uh then i i would suggest you do that um f so the people can actually run your game and for application files uh these are just the uh, file dll files and stuff that will come with it um but you don't really have to worry too much about that and then as for revision, uh, this is just like, you know how you have games or applications or software or something that will be like uh, whatever version 1.0 or 1.0.0, whatever, whatever. That's what the revision is. Uh, then this is what the published version is. So the version like 1. Point whatever, 0, 0, 0, whatever. So this is just the published version and you can have a check mark so every single time you publish it will increment it. So if you forget to increment it, it will do it for you. It will do it uh for you. So we could just click publish now because it will it will publish it straight to the uh published folder, but uh if you want, you can go through the publish wizard. I would just tell you if you want to upload it to like a CD-ROM, UNC path or a website and then norm, uh, if you don't have a website then you would normally click cd-rom or whatever and then you go through all the publishing process and and yeah we'll publish in the publish folder but since we've already uh set the publish folder you can put the installation folder url or whatever um different from the file path but we'll put it in the same publish folder uh so what you want to do is that you want to click publish now and if you look at the bottom of your screen, it will show you right here the build is building it, and it'll show you what um, everything that's going on. And publish succeeded. And once it's done publishing, then your folder will pop up of where it, it, it's set up on your computer. Uh, so it says um, you have an application, so that is the the game file itself, and click once application. So I believe that's the uh, it says deployment manifest. Uh, so what I would do, this is a setup file. So what I'll do is just click the setup. Uh, what you do is set and send the setup or send all these files 
um to the person uh, that you're going to be uh sending it to or sending yeah whatever and they click the setup and if they don't have the prerequisites um then it will tell them what they have to install whatever all you have to do is just click install it will install the program for them and uh, yeah there so it's installed on the computer so then if you look it says it stopped working uh so I really don't know why it's not running right now, but I guess it's missing some files that I forgot to incorporate. Uh, but if you look in the file menu right here, you can, uh, if you go to file and all programs, and if you go scroll down, you'll be you'll be able to see the game. So what's a pavilion elements, and you'll be able to click it from there on the start menu and run your game, or so on and so forth. Uh, for mine, I don't know why it's not running. I probably forgot to put something in, but yeah, your program should run fine. So that is it for this tutorial. Uh, this is your final XNA tutorial. I hope you guys really and truly enjoyed this tutorial series, and the advanced platformer series will be coming soon. So don't forget to tell your friends. Don't forget to comment, uh, thumbs up, and subscribe. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and bye.